Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Teague with Auto Jeff Reviews. I've been waiting a while for this one. That's right, this is the 2024 Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport. Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport. So one look around this one and we can see a mid-sized truck that will be popular. It will be versatile, perhaps unmatched in versatility in the whole mid-sized truck market. It will ride smooth and comfortable with excellent visibility. And frankly, it looks really cool. Let's get an interior first look. And what we'll find is that we've got a mix of black with orange accents, trail sport orange accents. Got some upscale features here. It's like uptown funk, but upscale features, you know. They both have the word up in it at least. And then look at the legroom, it's very good. We've got under seat storage to talk about and some extra features in the back. But again, I already talked about it when we walked around it. Look at the visibility. It's really solid. Before we go any further, how about this sonic gray color? It's a little bit gray, a little bit bluish tint to it. Pretty unique. Get that prop rod, it's nice and out of the way here. And if you're looking for a solid V6 engine, Ridgeline could be the way to go. 3.5 liter V6. That's right, this is a 3.5 liter V6. It gives you 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. Also, it's matched with a nine-speed automatic transmission, which to me is very smooth, city streets and at highway speeds. Got a little bit of soundproofing material here, actually a lot of it, and then that's well marked here. Where do you put your fluid? Right there, my friends. You'll find for MPG fuel facts, well, a 19.5 gallon fuel tank, 18 in the city, 23 on the highway, 20 combined, and the fuel door is gonna be right here on our friend driver's side. Ground clearance, 7.64 inches. Trail Sport's gonna be a little different from the other trims because it has off-road tuned suspension. See if we can get in a little closer here. We got it raised on my poor man's lift at the park today. And try not to get the sunshine while we're looking at the off-road suspension and you can see the coils up there. So to me, this one rides very smooth at highway cruising speed. I was surprised by that, but it also is able to absorb bumps, ruts, divots, things that might get in your way of a nice smooth ride. So there's some versatility, certainly some capability with this one as well. And wasn't it famous poet Sammy Hagar who once famously said, I got the best of both worlds and that's kind of the ride that you get with this vehicle here because you get to see nice smooth on-road comfort but capabilities when you're a little bit off the trails as well matter of fact i just talked with sammy hagar that's exactly what he meant he was talking about the 24 ridgeline Woo! and let's finish out our performance fast facts with the brakes we've got ventilated brakes here in the front 12.6 inches ventilated solid disc brakes right here in the back 13 inches, so great stopping power. It's a pretty cool looking front end, honestly. There are a lot of different colors, a lot of textures, a lot of shapes, a lot of modernness, but also toughness. We got this three-dimensional metallic gray flecked grill. That is really cool. It's got the Honda Sensing Safety Suite, so you know you're gonna be protected for peace of mind. And then look at this. We've got this gloss black panel here. Very cool. I like the hood here. It's nice and wide and a big, huge windshield. That leads to better visibility, I think. So let's look a little bit closer here. We've got the LED daytime running lights, LED low beam. Let's switch to POV mode here. One thing you want to know about the LED lights is it does switch away from the LED light when you go to the high beam. So when you got your brights on, it's not going to be the bright white. So look at those lights, really cool. We've got functional air flowing through here. That's nice to see. Front parking sensors, here's our turn signal. And look down here, we've got LED fog lights. That is excellent, my friends. Metallic bumper that matches the grill. The Honda Sensing Suite, like I said. Lots of safety features in this one. That's a good looking front end, do you like it? And we got a little bit of a spoiler alert here. I'm in the back seat. What's up guys? What's up girls? We have good room in the back seat, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the profile here. Has auto lock and unlock on the front door, so you just push that, it'll lock, provided it's already shut off and that. Look at this, a turn signal. That's right, turn signal, and we've got some gloss black accents. I mean, it is a trail sport. Look at this here, big window right here. When this is cut out, that means you can see better, better visibility around this A pillar. That means the first pillar 
on the sides if somebody's turning or pulling into your line of vision. Same thing here, so that's a huge advantage. You'll also notice along the profile that includes what's up top on the side. We've got a moonroof, my friends. Yes, we do. Black accents around the windows, around the windows, around the wall. And then we've got the fender accents right here. Matte black, that makes sense in case you brush against something here. 18 inch wheels, these are 245 60R18 105T tires. Nice, they're all terrain sport tires. Really cool here, how do you like the design? I think it matches the vehicle and the, I don't know, the style, the vibe of it completely. So let's go around here now. Where is the blind spot indicator? That's gonna be on a Honda right here. It's in a good spot. It's like an amber orange color when it lights up and somebody's in your way. That second opinion, you're looking out this way anyway. So I think that's a really good location and it's a good color to just subtly let you know, yes, you made a good decision, best friend. You made a good decision, you can turn. Or no, I would wait, my friend, I would wait. Again, look at the visibility. Big, tall windows, wide windows. Come to my window because you want to see this ridge line. Look at this. We've got the gloss black accent up and around and over. Holla, that's exciting. So, if this was a dating profile, would you swipe on our friend Ridgeline Trail Sport? We've got her in reverse, so that's a great time to check out the back camera because we're going to be getting a look at the back. We just got to get into the position and we need to know what we deal with from all angles. Speaking of angles, Let's chain, change our line of sight right here. Look, you can see my notes. That's very cool. Oh, we can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. We could just change it to the different brightness. That's also cool. So let's change it back to our original one. The lines change. I like that too. Why is there a release button right here on the bumper? You know, this one right here. Release me. Well, that's because if you pull the release lever right here, it opens from the side. That allows you more clearance, more room to get in, do your business and work. And you can get right up in there next to that bed. And look at this right here. You can also open it this way and that's fine because you can work just like this, a nice surface here. I love this. 33.9 cubic feet of bed volume, which is nice. Again, versatility here. Or we could just get right up in here, do our business, do our work. Hello, we are open for business. We are ready to serve you with these awesome specs. Look at this here. We can lock our trunk, which has 7.4 cubic feet of space. That is pretty impressive. What's in here? Look, a spare tire. And it exactly fits one auto, Jeff. Look right here. I can unlock this one because it glows in the dark right here so that way if i got trapped in this 7.4 cubic feet of space which ironically enough turns out to be me pretty much then i can get out nice and easily that is pretty versatile great safety feature as well so yes we've got that right there the spare tire the jack equipment fits nicely underneath here you just slide that sucker out and then we'll look around here eight different tie downs or cleats that's pretty cool. We've got storage here. It could fit a can of anything you'd be carrying with you. That might be nice. Maybe your baby Yoda doll could go in there. Whatever you want. But I've got room here. And this is able to fill, let's say, take a cold plunge ice bath. You could do that in here. Not sure you'd want to. Hey, I should do that during my review. So stay tuned to the, for the channel and see if I actually do that. But look, it's got a drain right there. Ho! That's pretty impressive right there. So we'll drain our ice once it melts. Yo, this is like an all weather type surface here. So it's composite. So we can put things in here and not worry about scratching, denting, chipping, that kind of stuff. So two cleats right here. Got the window, nice. Two there, two here, and yes, two over on the other side. Again, versatility is the name of the game with this particular bed. And by the way, towing capacity is 5,000 pounds for all four trims, so that might be something you want to look at. So get your boats and campers and trailers ready to roll. We're going to start our interior deep dive tour by looking at this right here. What's that open and close? Well, number one, we've got the moonroof here. we got to get that out of the way. What a beautiful day in North Carolina. I hope it's nice where you are. It's sunny and probably 70, 71 here. Just absolutely stunning at the park and I hope you're enjoying a great day as well. So we can shut this if we want to but we can also get to this button right over here once it gets into 
clarity. And then that's how we open up this window to give even more space. Now, if you want that full visibility, if you don't have backseat passengers, just take off the headrest and look at that. You've got the whole window with all that visibility. Look how big the windshield is. Great sight. Great Scott, Marty! We gotta get 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! Uh, no, Doc Brown, I said great sight. You can see all the way around it, incredibly clear. What about backseat space? Got two different scenarios for rear seats here. Number one, this is all the way back and reclined because we've got a tall person sitting here. So look here, my knees touch, but I've got lots of room spaced across. If we've got two people here, three might be a little bit more challenging, but here, 36.7 inches of rear seat leg room. A little bit more over here, I'll show you. This is just for an average person. And then 38.8 inches of rear seat headroom. So I feel like I'm very spacious back here. I don't feel claustrophobic, I see it's spacious, but I feel spacious. I feel spacious and I like it. These seats are very comfortable. I like this a lot, actually. Now look here, good leg room, good headroom, and I've got my, oh, bleep handles. That's right, Jeff. Oh, bleep. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah. So even the driver has it. That doesn't mean that they're scared of their own driving, but what it means is maybe they just like to rest their hand up there. Just a comfortable place to rest. Dark headliner here. It fits the trail sport image. Looks good actually. We've got lights here. See the little microphone right there. And again, very comfortable. Squishy, squishy. This is kind of versatility here. An armrest, an armrest, a cup or bottle holder, and then you can put a thousand paper clips in there. So maybe that's a spot where you want to do your office work. But again, it's squishy. Feels good. How about some under seat storage? So we just pull that handle right there. It stays there and then pull this handle. How is that going to benefit you? Well, you could fit your bag. That is really cool, right? Now, what do we have for multimedia and instrumentation? Well, the things I look at for seven inch screen right here and nine inch multimedia touch screen right here with a lot of capability, a lot of functions, unusual shifter. I'm used to it now. It's taken a few hours, but I'm good. You'll be fine with it. Now let's get started with the front view. And yet before we do that, I do want to show you there's rear air back here, which is great for a mid-sized truck. Has 12 volt circular. Boom, we've got a pocket to put your things in. That's nice. Pocket to put your things in. That's nice. I love when manufacturers and models put two pockets back here because you got two kids, one of them's not gonna be happy about not getting no pocket, right? You're not gonna be happy about that. Soft touch right here, I like that. And then maybe you could put your phone or something else slim there and a nice, thick, deep storage pocket there for your cups and bottles. Look at that window there, boom. I'm gonna be doing a separate video at nighttime because I wanna show you the trail orange ambient lighting. So that's kinda nice. We'll have it around here. Let's show our pockets that we can get. Again, storage is the name of the game for most truck owners and passengers. Auto window, that's nice. So we've got a nice expansive area right here. It just feels very spacious. Again, nothing about it is claustrophobic. It, very pleasant. And look, all this room right here, so that's good. Now the seat right here, this is four-way power seat and 10-way power seat for the driver. So the driver's got it made. Look at the accent right here, that's very nice. The leather seats. How do you like the Trail Sport stitching, the orange stitching, the branding? It's real cool, I like it because it's subtle but it certainly conveys the image of what it is. This is tough and rugged, you could take it on road, you could take it off road if you want to. And then this is for the engine start and stop so I like to turn this one off. I don't like it to shut off and I'm back on at traffic lights, but it'll save you a little bit of gas mileage here. That's kind of nice. And then look at our shifter. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. And big wireless charging right here. I didn't do that. Someone else had their dog in here. I just got the truck. All right, look at this right here. Cup holders. And then one USB-A, one USB-C, 12 volt circular, heated seats. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my seat, da, 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 and we can make it feel right. And then we got a pocket here for whatever you want. Depends on what you want it to be. Look at this, we just kind of tweak it like this. That's nice, very nice. Here's our rear air on and off. 
and then just kind of tweak it like this. Easy to use, easy to figure out. This is too. I was really pleased to find out on this nine inch screen that we have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Look ma, no wires. All right, look here. So you just kind of push what you want. We got the Apple CarPlay here, boom. Navigation system, that's there. Of course it's there. Nice, all right. And we've got voice recognition. So you've got voice commands that you can give the vehicle. Sirius XM right there. You can adjust vehicle settings, general settings. It's not the most modern system by graphics, let's say, but it's more than capable and a lot of different things you can do with this particular vehicle. Like I like the fact that you can do your driving position setup, your door and window setup. Look at that. It's got the memory position link. It actually moves when you turn the car on and off, the seat does, which is really cool. So look at this, do you want the seat position to move? Yes or no? Yeah, I want it. I want it, I want it. So what else can we do? Let's keep going. That's pretty cool. Helpful hint here, push these three lines and you'll get some more options for your navigation system. So they'll do guidance. You can manage your places. Traffic icons, traffic flow, it's nice to have that. And then we can also do the color theme, day or night. So some versatility here. What can we look at over here? Well, we've got two position memory seats. Here's the fuel door, that's nice. Pocket, pocket. So the front windows are auto one touch, that's nice. The other ones you gotta do it yourself. 10 way seat and look how fast it operates. That's pretty cool, two way lumbar support. I'm suing you for lumbar support. All right, look at this right here. I think that's a real thing. Maybe it's not. So again, we just pop in here, get lots of room, maybe coins there, whatever you want it to be. Hey, look, I glossed over this one because I wanted to show the different drive modes here on our display screen. So do you want normal driving? Do we have snowy conditions, muddy conditions, sandy conditions? Whoa, Sandy from SpongeBob SquarePants, perhaps? We have different pieces of information. And look, I said the gas mileage was gonna be 18 and 23. Look what I'm getting right now. I'm doing pretty good, 22.3, so that's pretty impressive. We can just keep scrolling through our sections. Trip A, reset. Do we want range and fuel warnings, gauge and display settings? We'll go all the way through this to see which one's best for you. Do you want the all wheel drive torque distribution gauge? That's kind of neat. And this is what the horn sounds like. Just like that, push button start, nice. Up here we've got auto dimming rear view mirror, very nice, with garage door opener programming, sunglass holder, I like that very much. Sometimes that gets ignored in a truck. Gotta put our glasses somewhere, especially Maverick in Top Gun, he's gotta put his glasses somewhere. Well actually he'd be wearing them at all times. Lighted mirror with slider. Watch the mirror, my friends. I've got it in drive right now, but I switch it to reverse. Look at that. Whoop. Power tilt down mirrors. That's pretty cool. And you can do it on the driver's side as well. That might be kind of a nice thing to do. So we've got it in reverse there, got it in drive, and then we'll put it back in reverse. Reverse, 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 crisscross. Our four trim levels, we've got Sport, RTL, Trail Sport, and the black edition. They go from 39,000 to 46,000. This one right here starts at $44,980. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And you'll find different types of content on all four platforms. So you'll see a long walk around here, a shorter one on TikTok, maybe a vertical reel with a really cool feature on Instagram, and then maybe like a vehicle spotlight on Facebook. So Auto Jeff Reviews, and I hope to see you there. Check out my Honda and Acura playlist on Auto Jeff Reviews, cause you'll like what you see. Thanks everybody for being here and hitting subscribe. You're the best. Hee <laughs> hee, ow! And it's like the song says, happy Honda days, happy Honda days, while the ridge line keeps ringing, Happy Honda days to you. Thanks for hitting that Honda playlist and suggested videos. Have a great time. See you next time.